you know, it's not easy being overweight, obese, or however you want to term it. It's just not easy. And a lot of times people look at a person that is obese or overweight and they say, man, if he would only do this or do that, you know, his life or her life would be so much better. You know, a lot of times this stuff is easier said than done. Because a lot of times this has nothing to do with the physical appearance that people see. Like in my case, I was teased about my body from say six or seven years old all the way up to the ninth or 10th grade. You know, and at that time I started playing sports and my body started developing. I got tall and you know, things started kind of changing for me but my mind was already damaged from all of the trauma and stuff that I had dealt with as a young person. So people think, okay, if he just stops eating fried chicken or pizza or drinking sodas, then everything will, will, will miraculously become great for them. But oftentimes we aren't digging down into the triggers, the reasons why we are turning to food and substances and other things for comfort, for medicine. So one person sees this food as a death trap for us, right? But the person who may be eating the food or drinking the stuff or whatever it is, may see that thing as a healer. So it's like, you're, you, you're coming into my world to assassinate my savior, which could be food, which could be whatever. And until a person can get out of themselves and see the damage that's being done, the damage will continue to be done until they make a decision to make one decision that was unlike yesterday.